Hi and welcome, my name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at the keyboard shortcut of Control N, which will allow you to move to the last cell within your active worksheet, or rather the last cell that has data in it within your worksheet. So that, let's get started. Here we have Excel and we had a little example where we had a couple of different tables and we looked at using control right arrow, control left arrow, control up arrow, control down arrow to move to the end of a specific data region. There may be occasions that you want to move to the last active cell or the last cell that has data within your worksheet. The way that you can achieve this is by pressing the control key and the end key. Pressing control end will move you to the last cell that has data or has had data rather in your Excel worksheet. So in this case, it would be that of 015. So again, if we press control right arrow, that would move to the end of that specific data region. Control down arrow would move to the bottom, control left arrow to the left, and control up arrow to the end, to the top. If you press control end, it would move to the end of that data region. So say we were to have some additional data, so we'll say total, and then we'll just say 10,000. Now, when we press control end, it should move to this column here in P15 because P15 is now the kind of the largest outlier, the furthest column, the furthest row that we have in our data. So we're gonna press control end. And as we imagined, it would move to this specific cell, that of P16. Now I'm gonna delete those. And there's a little bit of a nuance when you use the keyboard shortcut of control end. Remember when we originally pressed control end, it would move to this cell because Excel thought that this was our last data cell. But now we're gonna press control end and it will move back to that cell because that cell has, has been modified since you used the worksheet. So again, pressing control end will move to the, the cell which has the furthest column and the furthest row that has been modified. We used to have text or we used to have data here. And so when we press control end, it would go to this cell. That makes sense. But even when that cell is empty, when we press control end, it would move to that cell. The way I think that we might be able to get around this is by saying clear contents. So now when we press control end, it would still go to this individual cell. So we could delete that cell and then press control end. It's still going to go there because Excel presumes that this is an important cell because at some point we input data into this cell. In this video, we looked at control end as a way to move to the cell that we have modified that is the farthest away from our data set. So if we were to input data here, let's just input the number 89.5 for fun. We're gonna go here. And now rather than move to this cell, Excel should probably think that this cell is the most recent cell that we used. So control N can be a really great keyboard shortcut. In the next video, we'll look at control home which is the equivalent of jumping to the first most cell currently available in your Excel worksheet. So check that out in our next video and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.